Hello, we are Team POG. What does POG stand for? As the world advances, the utility of 3D has become boundless. It's used in games, movies, shopping, and various industries. Recently, there's been a growing need for high-quality 3D assets to create increasingly realistic environments. Recognizing this demand, POG has swiftly developed a process to produce high-quality 3D assets. We employ the technique of photogrammetry to create and sell top-notch 3D assets. We opted for this technology because 3D data produced through photogrammetry is incredibly lifelike, making it suitable for generating high-quality assets. Plus, the ability to create 3D art outdoors was particularly appealing to us at POG. We began preparing our service in August 23 and officially launched on December 19th. We offer a diverse range of assets, including various Asian-themed ones, showcasing their versatility to users through collections. Let's dive into how we create high-quality assets by exploring the process of making our Toad asset at POG. Team POG utilizes the photogrammetry technique to create 3D assets, employing reality capture in the process. This session will focus on the creation of 3D assets using the Toad asset as an example. The process can be roughly compressed into capture, reconstruction, refinement, 3D rendering. Capture phase. This involves capturing images of the object to be made into a 3D model. Reconstruction phase. Here, the data from the captured images is compiled to create the 3D asset. Refinement phase. Unnecessary data is removed from the created 3D asset, and adjustments and enhancements are made to ensure integrity. 3D rendering phase. This is where the refined asset is rendered into images. Now let's delve into each of these steps in detail. Using a shooting turntable, we rotate the object to capture images from various angles. Since the photogrammetry process begins with basic input data, namely photos, the quality of these photos is paramount. When we talk about photo quality here, we refer to various aspects. In this stage, factors such as high resolution, sharpness, and minimal contrast are crucial. This is good result. If you use a low quality, blurry, high contrast image, hmm. the results won't be as good. As mentioned earlier, high-resolution, sharp, non-blurry images, and those with minimal contrast due to shadows, are key elements in this stage. Additionally, photos with multiple colors rather than monochrome, and those that cover all parts of the subject with overlapping sections, contribute to high-quality 3D generation. Furthermore, to facilitate point creation later on, we capture images from various angles in a consistent direction. In the reconstruction phase, reality capture is utilized. Reality capture involves generating 3D assets based on the image data captured during shooting. It can be broadly divided into four stages, Align, Mesh, Mesh Cleanup, and Texture. In the Align stage, import all the images captured during the shoot. Then, proceed with image alignment by pressing the Align Images button in the registration function of Alignment. In the Mesh stage, create a basic 3D model by clicking the Normal Detail button in the Create Model tab of the Mesh Model section. 
During mesh cleanup, use Tools in the Tools tab to remove unnecessary parts using the Lasso tool or Rect tool, and close any gaps using the Close Holes button if needed. In this case, it seems like there's no need to close gaps due to successful shooting. You need to check the quality of the assets by rotating the objects. Meticulously inspect for any gaps or errors. Check the number of triangles in the mesh components and if there are too many, reduce them using the Simplify tool. Smooth out any rough surfaces using the Smoothing tool if necessary. Next, in the texture stage, create UVs first by selecting Unwrap in the Mesh Color and Texture tab of the Mesh Model section. Then, press the Texture button to complete the texture. Once the object is complete, export it. You can choose the format based on the 3D tool you primarily use. The reconstruction process has come to an end. Now, let's move on to refinement. During this stage, we utilize Adobe Substance 3D Painter to create PBR textures for the 3D model or to remove any unnecessary shadows. Additionally, if there are any remaining mesh cleanup tasks from Reality Capture, we may use Blender to proceed with mesh cleanup again. In this stage, various processes related to textures are carried out to enhance the realism of the 3D asset. Let's try to understand the process while looking at the work. Before proceeding with texture work in Substance 3D Painter, additional textures need to be generated based on the base color extracted from Reality Capture. Substance 3D Sampler is used for this process. To begin, launch Substance 3D Sampler and import the base color texture extracted from Reality Capture. Generate the necessary textures for the task and adjust them if needed after an initial check. Then, export the textures. Making sure to only check the ones required. And setting their sizes accordingly. Following this, continue the work in Substance 3D Painter. We rotate the 3D object to inspect its shape, casting light from various directions to consider how to apply textures. We create a new layer in the Layer tab. Then, 
we load the texture image generated from Reality Capture and apply it by drag and drop, adjusting texture properties to ensure everything looks right. This process involves modifying textures of the 3D model. We specify color ranges to modify textures in specific areas, enhancing realism according to the characteristics of the object's material. The correction process is now complete. Now let's render as an image and utilize this 3D asset in Unreal Engine 5. In Unreal Engine, you can easily place various objects for your project. Import the assets and textures created in the previous step into the project. Place the assets onto the Unreal project map. Create a new material by applying the created textures to the default material generated. Place the textures appropriately for each attribute. Quickly check for any abnormalities in the objects. Create a camera and pilot it to set the angles. Adjust and place objects, cameras, and lights appropriately for the scene. Now, proceed with rendering. Once you generate high-quality render shots like this, you're all set. POG strives to create more realistic assets using various 3D tools. These completed images serve as a showcase for POG's 3D assets. Assets created in this way can be utilized not only in Unreal Engine 5, but also in various other 3D tools such as Blender, 3DS Max, Maya, Twinmotion, and Cinema 4D. You can apply different materials, adjust sizes, and create your own fantastic 3D environments as you wish. Stay tuned for even better content next time. Subscribe and like to stay updated on POG's news and 3D-related information.